hands, four hands only. She would bring to that short ball. She would approach, an approach shot, hit a volley, and a volley. And if any point, she's going to win the point. Ready? Go. Go. There. Go. Okay. Ready? Go. Finish the point. Go. Go. There. All right. Welcome back. Do it again. So that's the idea. You notice she's getting herself lower. And when I show her to go to that corner, to the forehand, right away, they work, they work, they work, and we've been working on and being here and loading, ready to hit again. She see a short ball. I got a chance to end the point. I hit an approach shot. Once I commit myself to volley, I want to be all over the net, really, so that I don't get past. Ready? Go. Good. Show me again how you cross behind. There, good job. That's the way to attack the ball. There, go. There, and come forward. There, to the net. Volley, show me your volley. There, good job. Play two more like that. Good. Excellent. So that's the way. You had a great forehand. We had to use it. You had to use it anywhere in the court that you want to. Ready, go. 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 How quick you get to the net? Come on. To the net. Go. Volley. Excellent. One more. Last point. Good job, Heidi. Ready? Go. 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 And go. Short point, short point. Win it. There. 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 And rest. Excellent. So if I have a great four hands, I want to use it anywhere on the court. The way to get around to be able to hit in the corner, obviously, to get good footwork. If I don't get there quick, I cannot use it. Once I'm there, I want to shorten the point. I wait for the short ball. I hit a great forehand. I get a weak return, I hit a short ball, and I go all over the net, and I win the point, I make the point shorter. I don't have to play as long, saves energy for the next match. Go. Good job. Go. Go. All right, come on, go to the net, come on, finish the point there. Go. All over the net, good. Forehand approach drill. In this drill, you use four hands only and finish your stroke in front of the cone. You need to rush to the ball. If you are right-handed, your right foot crosses behind. Be sure to be aggressive in your approach all the way to the net. Okay, the next drill is what I call the volley overhead. Not everything is parallel to the baseline. You have to be able to come in and move forward and back. So in this drill, we're going to practice a volley overhead, volley overhead. If you got a good volley, and you start coming in after, they're going to try to love you. If they try to love you, you're going to have a good overhead that you're going to be able to finish the point and win the point. Ready? Show them. Volley. There. When you do your volley, always try to finish in front. There. Good. And it's important to hit a good volley. Then after you hit a good volley, then sink with the overhead. One more, good volley, strong volley, and go back to the overhead. In here, you, got the, you know that you're gonna hit a volley and the next one will be an overhead. Many times, people get a little lazy and they start going backwards before they finish. You wanna finish a shot, always get a good shot. You got such a good footwork, you will get to the next shot if you have to hit another one. But always hit a, execute a good shot first, and the chances of winning are gonna be a lot better. The other person may be good enough to return your great shot, then you still have another shot to win the point. Go ahead. There we go. Good. There, left arm up. Get up there, get up there. There, two more times. There. Good, one more. There. And rest and we play one more point. So as you see, the idea is coming forward, attacking, finish, volley in front of you. As we talk, you have to get that heel up. You cannot volley well if you're doing this. People that do this, it's like they're afraid to come to the net, don't like to come to the net. If you, can, if you cannot do it well, of course you're gonna get past a lot. Show one more time. There. Because here I'm doing where the volleys are fairly close, but eventually I can practice where they go a lot wide. So you see up there, you have to go way out wide to get to the ball. Go. There. And rest. 
So that's the idea. The idea sometimes I do it where I do the volleys in here, where I get here, where it's fairly narrow. But sometimes I move the cones way out wide, so I have to, you have to get the ability to get up there. So you learn to cover the net. Once you move forward, and the closer you get to the net, the easier to cover it. So you have to get good ability to go forward and back. And if you are good enough at the net, they're going to try to give you overheads. You got good full work, you get back and win the point from the baseline. Volley overhead drill. Always move forward when hitting a volley and be sure you finish the volley completely before moving back for your overhead shot. So you're playing a match. You serve, you got a great serve. But you know, the other player can return too. Return the ball to your feet. How do you, what do you do? How do you, how you defend that? The ball come to your feet, you have to be able to step away and hit. As I step away from the ball, I want to make sure that when I hit it, I want to be going forward. Because if I hit the ball when I'm going backwards, my ball is going to be short, the other person is going to hit a winner on me. The drill was developed with the idea that courier, you will serve to Shang, Shang return to his feet, and we have to learn how to defend that. We came up with this drill that will, Kel and Carly will demonstrate now. Ready? Step back, <coughs> hit that. You go in there, and go, go forward. Keep your feet moving. You're stepping away, but moving forward when you hit. There, that's way better. That's way killer. Don't done so much. There, quick, a couple more. There, and rest. So, you practice all the shots. Every situation that you may have to face on the court. If you have practice, you know how to, how to execute it. If you don't practice, you will have problems on the court. You won't win as often as you want to win. But when you practice, make sure it's perfect practice. Concentrate on what you're doing. Don't be sloppy in your practice. If you practice with a purpose, the results will be much better and you don't have to practice as long. Ball at feet drill. Keys to success in this drill are stepping away from ball when setting up, but moving forward when hitting. You should try to come to the ball from an angle, not straight back, moving in a small semicircle. In all these drills and exercises, you need to strive for perfect practice with a purpose. You need to concentrate throughout your workout, doing every aspect of every exercise right the first time and every time. It's a 12-month uh, uh, calendar, obviously. And there are going to be times during the year where you're going to need to pile on the training, and there are times where you need to back off. And, and everyone's part of the team and the communication piece of that is paramount so you're not overtraining your player you're not doing too much off court and too much on court and burning your player out and make them tired and then they could be injured so it's very important the communication piece with the trainer the, the coach and the player during this program you've learned important information that should help you with your game for three times the tennis knowledge, watch all three of the DVDs comprising Mr. Echeverry's Strength and Conditioning for Tennis series. The first DVD in the series answers the fundamental question, what kind of shape am I in right now? You'll learn how you can evaluate your condition and compare it to other players. Plus, Pat will show you warm-up techniques and cross-training drills that will help you with your game. Think you have all the right moves? In the second DVD in this series, Pat, Jim Courier, and Justine Inanardan show you drills that will help you become stronger, quicker, and smarter on the court. Endurance is the name of the game in tennis, and in the last DVD in this series, Pat and his friends demonstrate how to maximize your strength and flexibility to give you greater endurance and confidence for those marathon matches. By buying the series as a package, you save $20 off the price of the individual DVDs. Plus, you'll receive a fourth DVD free that includes the complete interviews and workouts with Jim Courier, Justine Inanardan, and Marty Fish. And to prove the old adage that nobody's perfect, we'll include some bloopers that should boost your confidence level. Would you like to have your own Etcheberry experience? Pat can give you a personal evaluation, including creating drills and a workout routine customized for your specific needs. Want more information? Just go to our website at etchaberryexperience.com to learn how Pat can help you reach your competitive best.